The play Under Analysis is our town written by an American playwright Thornton Wilder. He was born in a highly educated and successful family and spent most of his life traveling. It is believed that Wilder drew inspiration for his place from his personal life experience while he was lecturing in Chicago, traveling around the USA and other countries of the world. Being a regular traveler, he wrote his place wherever he went. The play has clearly indications of setting. At the very beginning, the stage manager, the narrator, introduces the audience to place uh, a fictional town named Grover's Corners in New Hampshire. What is more, the narrator even gives the coordinates of the mentioned city and detailed description of streets and buildings. According to the critics, uh, the year of the action is always 1938. Nevertheless, the narrator tells the actual date of the beginning of the story. Uh, it's 7th of May 1901 and then he explains how the events unravel mentioning, unravel mentioning the 1930 year too. The narrator is omniscient as the stage manager knows all the thoughts and actions of the citizens. He directly addresses the viewing audience and the main characters and tells about the setting and atmosphere in detail. It should be mentioned that play is divided by the playwright into three acts, representing different time periods of life in this small town. Talking about the play itself, I would like to say that the play's structure and its scenery are different from any play I've ever seen in the theater. To begin with, the scenery is the barest minimum, as there are only a few tables and chairs, some walls and a part of the roof. It is remarkable for the viewer that the missing household items uh, are created using the corresponding sounds and the actions which actors do with them. Such a theatrical device helps the viewer to focus his, attention, his or her attention more on the characters and relationships that arise between them. Uh, one more thing that caught my attention is the fact that all the characters portrayed are ordinary and simple, there are no characters overcoming some psychological changes or even disaster. Depicting the events, the author didn't use such literal devices as suspense, twists of plot, climax or tension. On the contrary, life is simple and things go just the way they are. The play concerns itself with the theme of life in an ordinary city that exists in any country in the world. The events unfold around two main characters, Emily Webb and George Gibbs, whose friendship eventually turns into love. Uh, depicting the daily life of citizens, uh, the citizens' relationship between the main characters in detail, the author examines such significant worldly themes as the value of everyday living, true love, family relationships, and the circle of life itself. I believe uh, that uh, the play mostly centers on the theme of the circle of life. In the first act, the events are dedicated to the first period of each person's life, birth, school days, and first friendship. Opening the play with the talk of a paper boy and the milkman, the author makes us be attentive to details from the very beginning, as both of them refer to the idea of the development of one's body. The paper boy delivers magazines and newspapers that are a sort of food for our mind, and the milkman delivers milk uh, that is necessary for our body to work. Then the author describes the scene of children's preparation for school into neighboring families, like in other families. Furthermore, starting with the illustration of the outset of friendship between a boy and a girl, the narrator conveys an image of the development of friendship into love. So the first act illustrates a typical day in a small town filled with activities of daily routine and some mediocre episodes which people always take for granted, hardly ever thinking about their value in their own lives. In the second act, the events depict the second period of people's life, love and marriage. 
the actions unfurl around the wedding of George and Emily that is a vital decision of life for both of them. Representing the events, uh, the stage manager stresses that he cannot cover all the details of the wedding and let the viewer finish the picture, let the viewers uh, finish the picture themselves using imagination. This method is applicable for the whole play. Uh, the Gibbs family is against the marriage of Emily and George, as Mrs. Gibbs believes uh, that Emily is too young and cannot take care of her son. At that time, uh, the stage manager recalls the viewers the situation from the past when young people first realize that they are in love and want to be with each other for the rest of their lives. It is interesting how the author makes the interaction between the narrator and the characters of the story. For example, uh, the stage manager is also the priest who marries Emily and George in the end of the second act. The first, the third act uh, illustrates the last period of people's life and its usual end, death. Nine years later, during the funerals of Emily, who has just died during their childbirth, uh, she returns to the town as a spirit. It is a vital structural device, as observing the same setting makes the composition complete. Uh, the actions and words of people reflect the obvious actions from the first act, and uh, the repetition described in the play lets the viewing audience to see the past through Emily's eyes. Emily begins to think about what she saw and realizes that living people, ali uh, alive people, people who are alive, uh, understand very little about death and even less about being alive and how much life costs. Uh, they miss the happiness of a moment that can be found in routine everyday activities and uh, there the play comes to the end. Overall, depicting this usual cycle of life, uh, the offer imparts to the viewers that there is something noble in every day, in every day of our lives. That is one more theme examining in the story, the theme of the significant significance of the moment. Uh, the offer deals with the meaning of life, uh, details that might be taken for granted, such as helping with homework or ironing of the dress. Returning to the moments of her life as a spirit, Emily understands how blind she was towards the events she didn't pay much attention to and how people are blind now, not realizing the value of their life. Exploring the central idea, the author conveys a message of living the full life with its ups and downs in order to in order not to regret the missed opportunities of savoring simple pleasures of life that sometimes are out of our attention. I appreciated the play a lot as it was really easy to follow the plot and the main characters are really adorable. What I loved the most is the way the author omits some details, leaving space for the viewer's imagination.